This bowl was exquisitely enameled by master court enamelers within the confines of the Forbidden City in Beijing during the Qianlong period. It would once have been a pure luxury piece kept in the major palace halls of Qianqingong and Yangxingdian. It is vibrantly decorated against a blue ground with four pairs of stylized dragons and is preserved in near immaculate condition. Falang Tai, known as foreign colors to this day, remains among the rarest and most sought-after imperial porcelains to ever have been created. Falang Tai production began in the court during the reign of the Qianlong Emperor's grandfather, the Kangxi Emperor. European artisans were invited to the Forbidden City to introduce new enamels and techniques to the Chinese craftsmen. Qianlong Emperor, who revered his grandfather, rekindled this cultural dialogue after a brief hiatus during the reign of his father, the Yongzheng Emperor. This large bowl is a true tactile delight, and the palette and design on the exterior are equally striking. In fact, it harks back to the Kangxi period when bowls were often decorated with four large flower heads against the colored background. The dragons seen on this bowl are known as Kui dragons. They are derived from dragon motifs seen on Lake Shang bronzes from a few millennia prior to the Channel Emperor's time. What we see here is the Channel Emperor's fondness of his grandfather and the glorious legacy of China's cultural heritage. But upon closer inspection, one can in fact also notice a European touch. The scrolls on the dragon's bodies branch out into Baroque swirls, all the while alternating with floating flowers combined with European elements. It once formed a pair with its counterpart, now in the Musée Guimet in Paris, and is now the only one of this design in private hands.